Hi there, students. Every nook and cranny. Okay, this is an idiom that we use to mean everywhere. In every possible place. I looked for my keys in every nook and cranny, but I couldn't find them. The police searched every nook and cranny of the house, um, looking for evidence. So they searched everywhere, especially in the places that are hard to reach, even in the smallest places. Every nook and cranny of the house, every nook and cranny of the building, all of it. So, every nook and cranny of the house had to be cleaned because my grandmother was coming to visit. So, now let's look at the two words nook and cranny. Okay, a nook is a small corner, an alcove, a niche or a recess, especially in a large room. A hidden or secluded place in a room. So maybe if there's a little bit, little area off the side of a room, it's still part of the room, that would be a nook. In the restaurant, we ate at a table that was in a nook beside a large ingle nook fireplace. So, an ingle nook fireplace, this is a big fireplace with two recesses on either side of it that go in, in, into to, to the wall. So, there's a, in an ingle nook fireplace, there's a separate space uh, or a joint space either side of the fireplace. We found a secluded nook for our picnic. A secluded place that wasn't obvious for everyone passing by to see. The library was one of my favourite nooks for reading. Hidden places. In the library, I had a very secluded nook where I read my books. An alcove, a hidden recess, somebody, somewhere that was not open to everybody yeah it's still part of the room but you can't see it obviously so a nook a recess an alcove a niche and then a cranny a cranny is a small opening a small crack in a wall or in a rock face a fissure or narrow opening a long narrow split in a surface. So there were lizards hiding in the crannies of the rocks. Now you see lizards, they run away and hide in a tiny little crack. There were insects in the crannies of the bark of the tree. The bark is the skin or the surface. Okay, so a cranny is definitely smaller than a nook. A nook is a place a person can go and not be obviously seen by everyone. Whereas a cranny is much, much smaller. It's a crack. The climber used the crannies in the rocks for handholds. Okay, so it's a small split in the rock. So, every nook and cranny everywhere, in all places, especially the places that are difficult to reach and they're quite small. A nook, a secluded place, a recess, somewhere that you're not obviously seen by everyone, particularly in a big room. And a cranny, a crack or fissure in a surface. The sort of thing little insects and animals get into. Now let's see, apparently a nook in the past used to be the measure of an area of land. 
either 12 and a half acres that's quite a lot or even 20 acres and apparently a cranny also is a tool I think for a glass maker to make the necks of bottles so now let's look at formality in every nook and cranny I think I'd probably give this idiom a five in formality um, I'm not sure I would use it in a very formal document I would say everywhere in a more formal document but use every nook and cranny in a conversation in the pub in something semi-formal a nook a nook sounds slightly old-fashioned again I would give it five in formality I think a nook is probably flexible and you could use informally and very formally and a cranny as a crack yes I think you could use this informally and formally again so what about origin well nook apparently comes from proto-germanic there was a word hnukaz meaning a bend or a curve and there in the past there was a scots word um niak or nook a corner now what about a cranny well in vulgar latin so much later latin there was a word crenad to notch to cut a v in a piece of wood although they say that this word is probably of gaulish origin gaul in france okay so in every nook and cranny everywhere a nook a secluded place a cranny a small crack in a surface so there you go if you enjoyed the video give it a rating subscribe to my channel and i'll see you soon bye for now in every nook and cranny